Hi guys, hail and merry me to everybody. It's Michelle Marie Tony. It's the 29th, I believe, of the month of November, and we have a couple things to cover. Um, I'm at the computer right now because this way I don't have to uh, upload a video for using my phone and then go from my phone to the computer, rescale it down to meet the two gigabyte size limitation from per. Uh, um, daily motion, so I figure out I could do it from the computer at one time and skip a step. Uh, today, of course, we it's a uh, Friday, it's Black Friday, it's shop until you drop day. Uh, as you know, some of the doorbusters uh, at a lot of stores had started already. Jace Pennies, of course, had said that we're going to do some Thanksgiving night uh as of course does walmart and target other stores but yesterday i i was nice enough to show you the, um sailor moon and how i see sailor moon almost like a mall it's actually it's like a huge huge mall it's kind of like the mall of the blood well blood elves um it's a city within a, inside walls okay however um, because as far as I know, there's only one entry, one exit at this point. Uh, clearly, um, it's very easy to get lost trying to escape or to get back into other parts of the game. It seems that Shepherd's Gate is the only known entry into the Blood Elf turf of Silver Moon. Um... I don't know if that's necessarily true. I haven't looked to see if there's any other entry gates, but I suspect there might be one or two more. Um, so yesterday we got my character leveled up to 13, or actually 14, and uh, I think it's 14. Yeah. Um, and I mastered a few techniques of how to. I realize that since my keyboard, to my knowledge, doesn't have rollover, there's some things that I have a hard time doing. But I did find out that obviously before attacking the pirates, one of the best things to do is to actually activate the shield. Obviously, that should be for, that should be button one. Button two is is I'm getting pounded the crap out of press revitalize. Keep pressing revitalize, attack, revitalize, attack. Now I got my nice new rusty crusty heritage of me saying I'm basically pwn the hell out of them. Um, that's going to be a new button play with I'll be button number seven. Uh, and the way I got my keypad set up. I, I'm really going to have to work on changing some of my key bindings because I think some of them were kind of made in bad timing and bad design. Um... Some people do like the gaming. They actually are enjoying it. Especially the Twitch people and the Mixer people are starting to show interest. Um, and but unfortunately, I have to be honest, it's, it's really difficult to actually look at the chat questions in real time when you're playing a game like this. Um, of course, the Blood Elf home turf is a lot less stressful than the alliance or major horde cities like undercity and all that because it's just is there's more likeliness that you're going to be able to um focus and reflect and that's that's something i need in my real life too is i need a time to focus and reflect on my emotional stability so yes the game is great for that reason it gives me a chance to recover now by the way we never talk much about this cat, but you will notice uh, he's getting uh, he's getting nice and well plump again. He's put on a lot of weight. Yeah, you're getting f you're getting healthy. You're not more you're not more really obese. His BMI is about I would suspect is probably in about in about his, oops, in about his thirties. I don't know how you do a BMI on a cat, but I suspect. Uh, you would do it similar to the way you do any human being, except obviously some of the numbers are going to be very different. So it's like a ratio. Um, now, the 
live stream is for tomorrow is the show. We all know that Saturday is when we do our live call-in show. Um, I did contact. I did get a message from YouTube Legal, and they told me that they can't help me because they don't deal with um the situation, and they said they would not refer it to the right department. So. It looks like the main channel restreaming is probably not going to happen. Um, but at least we do know that we do get a chance to restream on, uh, on the other channels. So, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Now, um, so, of course, we have some significant snow coming on. Well, it depends on which which model you go by here for New England. If you go by the CFS model, it's Canadian uh, forecast um, synopsis. It says that we're going to get, in my area of the state, we're going to get about 36 inches of snow. If you go by the European ensemble, it says that we're going to get about 12 inches of snow. And if you go by the GFS, it says that we're going to get about 6 inches of snow. So, honestly, guys, I can't tell you how much snow we're going to get because it seems that nobody can seem to make up their mind of how much snow we're going to get. And that's the reason why it kind of sucks. Um, but, hell, you know, that's the weather for you. But for now, the most important thing I want you to know is that um, we are having a show tomorrow with phone calls and chats. And if you are trying to text me, chat me on the, the game and play, please understand that I will and always do. I try to take a break between the games and look at the comments. Uh, today, Vanya needs to get leveled up. I want to get her up to level 10 or level, level 11. That's my goal. She deserves to be leveled up. She needs to be. She's a warrior. Unlike Bikela, who's a priestess, Bikela has a person who has um, ability to fire her weapons from a distance and which protects her. But poor Vanya has to get straight into the thick of it. And so for that reason, Vanya is actually more physically at the risk of always getting constantly hurt. Whereas Bikela could theoretically jump back, hit from a distance, jump back, hit from a distance, jump back, hit from a distance if necessary as, it, as the person tries to do a frontal attack. It's when you start doing two, three, four, five people once. Is even Vanya learned in the um, the north, was it the north, uh, yeah, the, the mine there, near the abbey, it's really hard to go out there and attack Perry, attack Perry, attack Perry, and attack Perry, especially when you get three or four or five people on you. Then you're like, it gets really crazy. In real life, a lot of combatants ended up dead. And sorry, they can't go to the the spirit, they can't go back and re go resurrect themselves. <laughs> um, in many famous battles, you can see where that has happened in real life, where people have been fighting two or three assailants at once, and basically very few actually survived, it's, uh, especially when they were using swords. You actually would likely get more sliced up pretty bad. Um, of course, Vanya has heavy mace. She has heavy mail. She's she's armed. She's, she's equipped. But still, you know, she's got to face those... Uh, people on multiple attacks is hard. The tarantulas, uh, those are going to take longer. She needs, she needs access. She has access to a power at which requires the use of wands. Now if she can get a fire wand. Somebody offered a fire wand. Um, but we priced out wands at the auction house. They were really pricey. Um, even for a good moderate one. Um, so she's going to have to work her way up for one. A lot of the wands are out there on quests anyway, so she can get one on her quest. 
So for now, guys, um, that's it. I just wanted to just take this time to first of all say to you on daily motion. I'm sorry I did not share the video with you for Thanksgiving. I'm going to upload it. I do have it. I just didn't process it. And yeah, okay. So, but now it's after the fact. So it's kind of like stupid. <laughs> all right, but for the rest of you guys, um, see you in a little while with the games. Okay? Bye-bye.